a modern artwork inspired by a classic painting of a massacre. American artist Sandra Perry's artwork is currently on display in Kiev as a part of an exhibition at the Pinchuk Art Center. She explains more. This video is called Typhoon Coming On. It's um, an installation um, that takes um, some of its uh, images from the Turner painting called The Slave Ship, um, which is about um, the Zong ship, the massacre on the Zong ship, which was a slaving vessel um, that threw over sick slaves during a storm in order to collect insurance money. Perry's work is one of 12 modern international artists featured in the Democracy A New Exhibition. The artistic director spoke about why the project is so important. The exhibition draws from two questions, or multiple questions, but two principal questions. One is, do we, do we need to rethink democracy? Do we need to adjust that? Is it necessary um, to change it, to allow democracy to survive the challenges that it faces today? Or a second question could be, do we need a new model? Do we have to forget about democracy? Is it losing today the battle against other systems, authoritarian systems that very often look more decisive and attractive? Elsewhere in the exhibition, a man and a piano merge to create music and art. The installation challenges the viewer's perception of what art is. Visitor Natalia Kramanitska is intrigued by the exhibition. This is very interesting. The widening of traditional frames, in my opinion, is always very fresh and forces people to think in a different way. It allows to distance oneself from the standards which were imposed on us or experienced. One art critic said that both traditional art forms and new ones like sculptures by Olafur Eliezon challenge our ideas. Here we can see both from posters straightforward works, like for example, Goshka Makuga's pen sketches of Donald Trump, to self-immolation in Algeria. These are the obvious things. Too much more exquisite works like Olafur Eliasson's Still River, where we can see two cubes of frozen river water taken from Dnipro. It demonstrates us an idea that what looks unchanging and repetitive is very changeable in fact. Sculptor Eliezon is known for experimenting with water and light in his works, but others take different approaches. The exhibition includes paintings, photos, sculptures, installation, performance and poetry by modern artists. It runs until the 6th of January 2019.